Hello, everybody. Listen, um, instead of repenting for the wickedness of this nation, uh, everybody's got a different idea with uh, this uh, quarantine stuff. So keep listening and I'll explain it to you. Something sent to me from a listener. Hey, everybody. Chaplain Bob here. Listen, um, I'm going to start posting my... Uh, some things on BitChute, my BitChute channel, since um, I'm concerned about Tube uh, deleting my channel. So um, I put up, I'm putting up the stuff that uh, Tube deletes on BitChute and the things that are exposing the uh, wickedness. So, uh, but let's take a look at something real quick. I really hate doing uh, expose type things, but in Ephesians 5.11, Paul writes, And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Reprove means basically to expose them. So we're not to have any dealings with the... Um, works of darkness, but worse, to expose them. Uh, also, in the book of Psalms, we read, the wicked shall be turned uh, into hell. Let's take a look at that real quick. In Psalms 917, it says, the wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. Well, guess what? All the nations of Europe and the United States and Canada has forgotten the God who made her great. Now, somebody sent me an article. Um, it's kind of interesting. It reads that in uh, Huan, China, uh, everybody's been quarantined by the communist Chinese government. And by the way, if you don't know it, um, Chairman Mao, the first dictator of communist China, is considered to be the largest, number one largest mass murderer in history, modern history. I don't know if he's for all history. Oh, I guess that goes to Satan, right? But uh, I'm going to read the article here. It says... Uh, People have been looking for different ways to blow off steam and connect with other humans now that they are trapped inside as a result of the, you know what, pandemic, so called. In Huan, China, residents of the city are cheering Go Huan from their balconies to encourage one another during the difficult time. In Europe, uh, people are on their balconies playing music. But uh, from what I hear, people in the United States have chosen something a little bit more different. Yes, somebody sent me this article, and I thought it was worth sharing. Um, it says, just after sundown this week, howling, howling, you know, howl, like howl at the moon, what wolves do. Howling was heard across the country after people organized to howl at the moon in unison. The howling sessions were organized through Facebook and Nextdoor. I don't even know what Nextdoor is. I guess that's what happens to uh, old people. We don't keep up, right? Um, I do know what fake book is. I got banned from them. Oh, by the way, I was uh, somebody had a large Christian community with like 20-something thousand people in it on fake book and said that he had needed time to answer all the comments and he trusted me and said yeah i want you to post scriptures whatever you want to do you know he trusted me so he made me an administrator of this group i was you know one of uh, more than one you know he was the owner but i was an administrator and on my very first day facebook banned me thank you thank you mark zuckerberg oy vey but, uh, so here it is, Fakebook and Nextdoor 
um, has dedicated the idea and it has over 351,000 members. Quote, every night at 8 o'clock p.m. in your time zone, take a minute to step outside and let out a cathartic howl, the Facebook group reads. Um, some said that they wanted a special way to honor health care workers, while others just saw it as a way to connect with each other in isolation. Uh, Bryce, M-A-I-U-R-O-O, Mayaru, I don't know. One of the group's creators told Westwood, quote, a lot of people have put their own meaning on it. We see people who say, I'm going to howl for all the hospital workers, the people on the front lines. I think it was a fun thing. It made sense with being in isolation. It makes people feel connected to each other when they howl and hear someone howl back. The Sacramento Bee, uh, by, if you don't know it, Sacramento is the capital of Californication. I mean, California. Uh, the Sacramento Bee reported that the howl was heard in major cities and suburbs across the United States, including Atlanta, Idaho, New York City, and Mill Valley, wherever the heck that is. Uh, Mayiro, or whatever his name is, says the people outside the U.S. have caught on uh, members from places like Switzerland, Mexico, and Brazil. Howling at the moon. Oh, isn't that just absolutely uh, wonderful. Well, what does the Bible say? Matthew 7, 15. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Matthew 10, 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Um, and Acts 20 and 29, For this I know, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Chaplain Bob signing off. And like I say, people, there's uh, I'm posting stuff on BitChute, so um, hit BitChute and look for me if you're interested. Um, I did a video there on the Mystery Towers of New York City, uh, they were installed in 2017, and, uh, you know, personally, I think they're the uh, the G thing, but uh, what can I tell you? Well, in Luke 10, 3, Jesus said, Go your ways. Behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and the only begotten Son of God, Jesus' name, amen.